Achieving immortal blood, that's actually a phrase that um, Dr. Bob Beck coined, or Robert C. Beck, the doctor of the science who um, developed a zapper, and actually he was um, not the first to really develop the zapper, and, the and the frequencies have been used to heal uh, the body for really for more than 100 years. But um, I'm actually going to go on a little bit of a tangent here and talk a little bit about the zapper that was developed by Holda Clark. Now, Bob Beck came after her, and to tell you the truth, I think Bob Beck was a little bit of a disinformation agent. Um, the one you really want to pay attention to the most is um, Holda Clark. Now, what she came out with where her technology was a little bit different now I'm showing also some nutrients here and actually I'm a big advocate of buying mega nutrients especially of certain types especially vitamin C um, now one thing I didn't recognize one difference between hold the Clark and uh, Bob Beck she advocated a lot of nutrition um, healing with nutrition and avoiding certain things that are harmful to the body um, there's quite a bit of things that are out there that are even in the good foods, whether they're dyes or chemicals that are added as preservatives, are very damn harmful to the body. But the one side of her um, methods to healing that involved electronics was the zapper. Now she called it a zapper because she wanted. To, she knew that Rife machines did work, and what you really wanted, she wanted to develop something that was simple simple that anybody can make. Now this zapper is put out by Parazapper. This is one of their um, mid-range zappers. It's got 29 frequencies. It uses the Holder Clark type technology with a positive offset. <clears throat> and um, it's very accurate and it uses a little bit of a pedestal ups offset so it never really goes down to um, zero voltage. So the voltage actually goes from positive and then down in, in a square wave, like a square wave being, um, I guess you could look at it almost like this. The wave would go this way and go up this way, down. It never go negative. It always goes zero. And this has a little bit of a pedestal offset. I've actually been using this extensively now for like years. I forget how many years I've been had this. Maybe a couple more, more than two. And uh, what I like to set it up with is a copper paddle and a copper cylinder and these this has two um, paper towels wrapped around here for conducting electricity through the uh, contacts and this one has one paper towel with uh, uh, cotton cloth over that I found that to be a little bit a little more durable because this is a flat piece of copper okay and if you use a paper towel, it seems to wear out a little quicker. Uh, if you have it wrapped around in the cylinder, it seems to hold up better. So I used a paper towel underneath the, um, see it's in here, underneath the, uh, the cloth. And that's just, you know, it's just cotton cloth. That's all that is. Um, now, what I've been doing is I've been started to zap over eight hours a day. So you would... Um, the way I found this to be most convenient is to do it at night. You can have this um, one on one one of your legs, and you can have this under your arm or in your el on a, on your elbow in here like that. And you bring your elbow in together like that. And I usually use mode two on this because it's in the thirty thousand range frequency. You you don't even feel it. Um, now. What I want to talk about here with immortal blood is this. <clears throat> the zapper <clears throat> with the positive offset has um, been shown and demonstrated to kill all microbes, at least in water. I mean, like you can make some theories about in how it works in body, but there's been a lot of user and user testimony out there that say it does work well in the body to kill microbes because most of the body is water it's a good eighty percent water and we can demonstrate outside the body that this zapper has the capability of killing microbes in uh, a jar of water it does work now the other side of it is this and these are Holda Clark's claims she says that the positive offset also supercharges the immune system cells in the human body so what 
that in itself is interesting because the immune system goes everywhere in the body, right? So in other words, if you've got something that's destroying all microbes and at the same charging the immune system cells, it's also causing immune system cells to go in areas where they supercharge them, the immune system cells, they go in areas where the electricity flow is not going and they're supercharged immune system cells. That's one reason this is effective. Now she says to use this at least eight hours a day if you're severely ill. Now the other side of it is this. If it, you see immune system cells, the body's, the body's human cells, immune system cells, are oppositely charged than microbes. It's That is why this technology works. Microbes are charged one way and the body cells are charged oppositely. As a matter of fact when the body cells go closer to zero voltage they're dying. They have to have a slight a healthy cell human cell has a slight uh, half a volt negative voltage. Every cell is almost like a little battery unto itself but microbes are charged exactly the opposite. Now what I think is going on here is the positive offset is actually causing the microbes to short out and it's working as an electron donor to the human body cells and she says the, the immune system cells and it's just not really that effective unless you're putting a lot of time into it and I found that you know if you're sleeping with this wearing this and I found using the cylinder and the paddle to be easiest way to use it but this is where I'm talking about immortal blood if it's charging <clears throat> the immune system cells and destroying the microbes which are oppositely charged therefore if that's true if that's true and I think it is true um, because he has documented the results many times and you can see a lot of medical results here's a here's a cat <laughs> hi Goldie yeah, nice for you to pop by uh, <laughs> but uh, he's going in a little cage look at that see that there's a little cage in there so but the thing is <clears throat> when there's uh when your human cells are charged one way, they're charged the same way as they have the same battery voltage as the immune system cells, the regular human cells, the blood cells, the red blood cells. Everything that is flowing through the blood that is vital to the human body is charged in the same way, uh, has the same type of battery voltage of about a half a volt negative in a, half, in a healthy cell as um, <clears throat> the immune system. So if it's causing the immune system cells to be supercharged, it should be supercharging all the blood cells and all the blood, all the cells that this electricity is flowing through. Now this doesn't work unless, you know, if you try it for five minutes a day, it's not going to really do too much. Uh, she found it to be most effective against, uh, you know, microbes and to help the immune system when it was used eight hours a day. But I'm also thinking, well, if you're not, if you if you feel fine, you know that thing Bob Beck talked about when using his zapper, Immortal Blood, which does do does give you energy. I can tell you that it does give you energy. It's nowhere near as effective as against microbes as this type of of uh, of uh, zapper. But if you are using this type of zapper eight hours a day, and you're not even trying to address ma uh, microbes, or you're not trying to boost your immune system cells. Would it not also charge up all the cells that the electricity is flowing through and also um, make all the cells in the blood supercharged? In other words, um, a highly trained athlete who's in excellent shape, has very good nutrition, um, and you know he keeps uh, very active whereby there's a lot of oxygen uptake and uh, there's a lot of cellular activity you know, through the exercise. And a lot of movement of uh, moving out all the waste product through the lymph system, their their voltage in their cells is actually even stronger than the average person. That's why they feel they have more energy. So I started doing this, and I think initially, if you try to do this, you might feel tired in the beginning because you're going to be knocking out so many different microbes, even though you don't think um, you have them. Uh, because, you know, if you're using this technology eight hours a day, um, it's going to wipe out pretty much all those microbes in your blood.
it's going to really knock them out um, and then you're going to have to remove the toxins from those microbes so in the beginning you might want to try doing this in steps uh, maybe you know 15 minutes a day then 30 minutes a day and work up from there and you know if you're wearing this I'm going to start doing this eight hours a day all the time um, I was for quite some time using the Bob Beck zapper for more than eight hours a day and I can tell you the energy levels are way to hell up there but you know I started to determine after a while that Bob Beck was not really giving you all the best information and um, his predecessor Holder Clark was the one that was really the one that you really want to pay attention to because he documented um, a lot of results uh, with medical results blood tests and you know actual patients whereby I never saw you know all the volumes and reams of uh, evidence that Dr. Beck claimed he had uh, but you know I keep thinking about that stuff he talked about immortal blood I do know Zapper does give you more energy and I think part of that is because <clears throat> it's helping to improve the uptake of oxygen into the cells um, I think it does do that and it does knock out some microbes but when you're using a positive offset it's knocking out all the microbes where this electricity is actually reaching and it does reach quite a bit because fairly deep because most of the body is water and we and it has been demonstrated that it works very well outside the body in water and also there's been a lot of user testimony over the years that stated that this thing can perform miracles I know I've used it one time or a couple times for um, um, an infected tooth which I don't have a problem with anymore because I, I now brush with baking soda twice a day um, but it, it worked like a miracle and uh, there's been times in the past, way back in the past, where I had like a sore throat, and I used this technology with the positive offset on the sore throat, and it works excellent, especially if you use it a number of hours. So I'm theorizing to use it even when you're not sick, and use it eight hours a day, and I think it will achieve that immortal blood because it's, I don't think it's just going to supercharge the immune system cells. It is going to supercharge all the system cells that this electricity passes through. So in other words, at least all the blood. And it's a temporary effect, but if you're doing it on a daily basis, eight hours a day while you're sleeping, it's going to have a very good effect on your energy levels and your overall health. So I think uh, Dr. Bob Beck probably was on the right track with the immortal blood, but I really think the, the, the zapper you need to use for that to achieve that is the hold the Clark style zapper and even this mid-range power zapper CC2 is you know heads and shoulders above um, the other hold the Clark zappers that are out there it's got 29 frequencies I, f I most often use mode 2 which is um, four frequencies in the 30,000 range because you don't feel it and uh, you just turn it on and you can see the operation right there the green light flashing and you click it again it's got a double flash that's mode 2 so it's been very reliable it's been extensively used and um, you know I'm, I'm gonna keep on with the experiment see what it does